What's up YouTube? It is your boy Lopes and welcome back to another video. We are finally back with the videos and today we are working on the CSX Type S and I'm super super excited to do something new to it. Uh, we're replacing something that's been kind of mashed up over time and it's looking ugly and let me show you what it is. Today what we're going to do is we're going to replace uh, the armrest with the bride armrest. We got a bride little handle for the uh, the e-brake and we got a bright shift boot but we're not going to do that because I like showing the hybrid racing but I just want to show you guys how it looks and there's Mr. Hugo interrupting the vlog he wants to party and hang out with us too so that's what we're going to do and I'm going to show you how to do this and big shout out to Joe for hooking me up with such a good price on this so that is for sale uh, GTA only I don't really feel like shipping it unless I really have to, but it'll be GTA only at first. Uh, but let's get into these. Uh, that's very simple. Just we have a few steps. So don't mind the dirty car. I'll be recording this. Maybe I'll get Alexander to help me with the bride rest after. But the little e-brake bride covers can go over the carbon wrap we have here. And what I'm gonna have to do, but it's not gonna be here, I'm gonna actually take this off and paint this black because it's starting to look worn down. Then we're gonna replace this armrest here because it's starting to get all faded and mashed up. And I've had it for a few years. And then we're gonna replace it with bride gradient which at first I wanted black but you know what I have a lot of black and silver and red in here and I think this is actually gonna pop out and stand really nice to go with the e-brake and car and that will stand out nice as well with the carbon wrap which this will all get replaced eventually since you know I'm my marriage is done I don't have to pay for a wedding anymore now I got more time and money for her so let's uh, put this on first so this is gonna be as simple as it gets so you're gonna get you're gonna just just do that I have to show you guys how it looks. See, ta -da. that is as simple as it gets, but it has a nice little touch here. You can still see a bit of the carbon underneath, but like I said, this thing, I gotta paint this and make that look nicer, because that looks mashed up. So now let's get into doing this. So we're gonna start off this by taking the armrest out. It's very simple right now. The two little things you need are your two T-bits here. We got 10 T10 and T20. And I've taken this out before, so I think I might be having, I might have a few missing screws, but it's held on, it's still pretty good. So let's see, I kind of like doing weight reduction. So Alexander, if you can get over here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna get our T10 and you can get a ratchet. And basically you're gonna take this off first, which mine is already loose. And just put it aside, because you're gonna need them. So quite simple. And then once you do that, my, you have to bring this all the way up. And then this is gonna, gonna pop off you. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to hold this, this is really hard with bucket seats. You're gonna have to hold this and keep this to the, as high as you can. And what you're gonna do is, you might need a ratchet. I've taken these up before, because I've replaced it. And you're gonna take that guy out and in this corner you have one as well and once again these are the t10s and i'm super sweaty so it's super hot so don't mind that all right so those are gone okay so then after you've done that you've taken these two top ones out uh you slide it back down and again on this side on a weird angle you're gonna have another one and as you can see, the armrest is starting to get loose. These are kind of hard to get, especially if you don't have magnetic. Now we're gonna hit this other side and loosen it. You should be able to do it by hand. If not, just use a ratchet. Okay. And try not losing those screws. And then what we're gonna do is slide it all the way up and there you go and this part has come out and make sure you go back and you get those screws now once you've taken it off you're gonna have one two three four five six to come off so i've loosened them already and like i said these are t20s and then just make sure you don't lose these because you're gonna need them i'm super excited about putting these on because this has been something that's been bothering me inside my car for a while started getting really dull over the years and then you know my dog sometimes in the car and he scratches it all up so we've taken out the six and then this just pops out very easy so let me go get the other one as you see this little one's pretty wrecked up I've seen what a lot of people do is I see they put this one over the existing one 
and I'm gonna try doing that and see how it fits first and it may work for some people it may not uh, it all depends on the fitment of your bride material that it's been cut okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try taking this off and seeing the fitment without it and make sure you know what the front and the back is and then you can put the material to how you want it now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this as tight as I can and try using this little tool I have here to push to push this in. I have a feeling it's not going to be the best fitment, but we're going to try and see see what we can make of it. Give, give that a second. Some people will probably fold this and glue this here, but what I'm going to try doing is seeing if I'm able to tuck it in, which probably won't work unless I loosen these. Like I said, I don't do this on a daily basis. This is just a lot of messing around. And it's starting to come along. Be careful, you have grease here. Make sure you don't get it on your brand new armrest. So this is somehow the finished product. It's not looking the greatest right now. I'm gonna mess with it more, try getting better fitment. I don't know if, I think it just wasn't cut long enough. This was supposed to be for the eight gens, but if I, if I tighten it like that, you actually get a lot better fitment. So the problem is it's just too tight. So it's not looking too bad. Uh, I'm gonna mess it with some more. We're not gonna actually record that. I'll see if I can get better fitment, and then I'll show you guys how to reinstall it and you guys can see the finished product. Okay, so I think I figured out the issue. I think this was meant to be for a 9 gen because it is thinner, and I know the 9 gen armrest is a lot thinner, um, but we made it work, so I had to help with Alexander. The fitment looks a lot better now. Um, so what I did is, since I didn't have any adhesive, I just used uh, Gorilla Tape along the sides, and we made it as tight as possible, and now we're gonna put back the uh, the original pieces back on, and I'll show you how it looks. If you guys buy one that, you know, the fitment's obviously better, you probably won't have as much issues as I do. Um, for the video's sake, I kind of wanted to make this work, so I'm doing my best to make this work, and uh, maybe eventually I'll trade this out and get a proper fitting one. If this uh, this is a proper fitting one and I'm doing something wrong, which I don't think I am, but you know, there's chances obviously, let me know. I, I was watching other videos and everyone seemed to have no issues and kind of just went in easily, and they didn't have the issues I had, so that's why I'm assuming it's a 9 gen. I know the 9 gen armrest is a lot smaller. So, you put the original stuff back in. Uh, let's go back into the car and see how it looks. So we're gonna do reverse order of what we did. So this is gonna have to go, if I have any grip, this is gonna have to go back into the track. I don't think it's gonna look very good. I'll be honest with you guys. It's too short on all the sides. I don't think this is meant for here. So unfortunately, um, it's just not working out. It's not looking good. Like I said, it's just too small along the edges and stuff like that. Uh, this is a few days later. Uh, I went back to the shop. I got a new bride armrest that actually fits. I just put it on. I'm going to show you guys how it looks. I actually like the gradient better because it's dark. It's not as light. I've reinstalled it and it is a lot harder to reinstall it, especially if you're by yourself. Uh, when you're putting it, so you know how you guys take off the screws coming out of the tracks? When you're putting it back in to line everything, it's a little difficult. So what I did is... Um, the little T-bit, I just put a piece of paper or plastic at the end um, because it's not magnetic and then I put the screw on it and it gives it a, and allows it to hold it a lot better so it doesn't fall on you uh, every single time you're trying to put it in because I would put it in and it would fall off because you got to go to like through like two loops or two holes and then you got to get into the, where the hole is where you screw it in and that was getting quite annoying that wasn't working out for me very well. Um, so I'm gonna show you the finished product. I'm actually really really happy with it. Uh, I thought I wouldn't like it and I feel like I always say this. I feel like I always say I don't I didn't think I was gonna like it but then I like it. Uh, I gotta stop doubting my judgment I guess sometimes but I'll show you guys. You guys can judge for yourself. Uh, I really like it. Spices up the interior nice and if you don't mind I'm all dirty. I just came from work and I had to do this quickly because I needed to finish off the video for you guys because I love you guys. So disclaimer the interior is quite dirty. Um, but there it is. Check that out. It goes really, really nice with the car. As you guys can see, I have a lot of black and gray, and it kind of just complements it quite nice. Uh, then I got the e-brake like I showed you guys earlier, 
And then I have that, it goes with the steering wheel, which is probably gonna get replaced. It goes with all the little gray accents. But, I'm actually really happy with the way it looks. What do you guys think? Huh. See? Told you I'd start working on this car again. I got a few other things happening. After this weekend, my life will settle down a bit and I'll focus a lot more energy onto the cars and modding it. But I'm actually super, super happy with the, that outcome. Wow, that is awesome. Huh. Honestly, I thought it wasn't going to turn out that good, but it did. But uh, and I didn't think this video was going to turn out as good as it did. Uh, I didn't think I can get the new bright armrest in time, so I'm happy. Uh, a few days later I got this. I mean my work clothes I stink, but you know, I pushed through for you guys and so you guys can have a video for Friday and trying to get back into a routine of things. So like you guys saw earlier in the video, I got married. All that's over with now, so marriage is done. Got the house now. Now all my time is towards you guys in the car and uh, I'm gonna see if I can get out to more meets and shows like that and you know network and do whatnot. But I wanna say thank you so much for watching. That was horrible. I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Hit that like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe for more content. 10th Gen, CSX Type S, 8th Gen, Civic SI. Same thing, difference. You know, same freaking difference. Love you guys. Peace out. Do it once, do it right, later. Let me give it back to you.